It wasn't just only my birthday, it was Zero Discrimination Day as well. And here this morning to talk to us about what that means and what's going, what's happening going forward is Ian Roach. He's the chairman of the Equal Opportunity Commission. Good morning, Mr. Roach. Good morning, Rokas. Good morning, Trinante Bigo, and happy belated birthday. Well, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Tell me, what is Zero Discrimination Day? Well, Zero Discrimination Day was um, first observed by the UN aid in, in observing the stigma, trying to deal with and address the stigma that was associated with people suffering from HIV and AIDS. And since then, it has grown and covered other areas of discrimination. And this year, what they decided to do was to highlight the urgent need to take action to end inequalities surrounding income tax, sex, age, health, occupation, disability, sexual orientation, drug use, gender identity, race, class, ethnicity, and religion that continues to persist around the world. Uh, the EOC, as the, I would say, the primary institution in Trinidad and Tobago, whose mandate is to deal with discrimination and to, to, to promote equality of treatment for all the citizens, we joined in all the rest, with the rest of the um, members of, 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 of the world in, in, in celebrating and highlighting these um, deficiencies in, in, a, in, in a, what I would say, in a law-abiding society. Can you, can you break down for me what discrimination is exactly? Well, discrimination under our act is, it doesn't really have a, a, just, a, um, a definition. But under our act, discrimination, I, I can say, could, could, could be described as any time any, any person feels that they are in some form treated because of, well, let me just deal with the act. Let me keep it to the act. The act basically I, um, prevents discrimination in four areas, which is employment, uh, education, the provision of goods and services, and accommodation on, on the grounds of seven status group, which, which will be, um, which will be uh, sex, race, ethnicity, origin, including geographical origin, religion, and marital status, and disability. So if for any, of, any reason you believe that you are being treated differently on any of those grounds, that, that any of those grounds as a result of, of any employment in, in, in terms of provision of goods and services accommodation, and um, um, as I said before, you can file a complaint. What's, it, what's the process can, to, file, to file that complaint? It's quite simple. You can either go on the website of the Equal Opportunities Commission and download a complaint form, mm -hmm. fill it out, or you can walk into the uh, into the uh, Equal Opportunities Commission and 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 fill it out there and present it. And what what, then, happens, happens, yeah. is, what then happens is that it is investigated. An investigation officer will be will be um, will be identified. It will be investigated to determine whether or not it has any merits. Mm -hmm. Once there is merit, the process goes further. The respondent person who is who is being alleged to be the discriminator will be written to, and to get to get his response or her response or the institution's response, as the case may be, and then it is assessed again. And then yes, there is an exchange of correspondence between us and the respondent and the complainant at that point in time. Once it is determined that there is in fact a uh, 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 discrimination um, which has taken place. The parties may be in co may be calling to, and invited to, to what we call conciliate, and a conciliator will be will be assigned to the to this particular matter. Uh, it may take several attempts in in conciliation to come to an end. Once it once it is fruitful and it bears fruit, an agreement is signed, and then this agreement is sent from from the EOC to the EOT, which is the Equal Opportunity Tribunal, which is a, is a superior court of record, and that that agreement is then registered and becomes enforceable as a high court judgment. If it, if it happens the other way that the, it was, that the uh, consideration didn't prove fruit, um, fruitful, and, but the EOC believe that it still merits investigation or it needs to go to the tribunal because there are issues of law or certain things that we are not mandated to deal with, it will be referred with the consent of the complainant to the Equal Opportunity Tribunal where a trial will be held. And, and the Equal Opportunity Tribunal has the power to impose fines, award damages, and so forth. How um, long does this process usually take, Mr. Roach? Well, it, 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 it varies. It varies on the responses. You know, it, it, it varies on the time that, that, that the parties respond to our, to our, um, to our um, solicitation of information. Yeah. Um, because sometimes people are not very pro 
prompt in doing so. Sometimes people uh, uh, are, we want to refuse, but under the act, we have a power. If you refuse to do so, we can issue a summons and it becomes a matter before the magistrate court does that the, could um, be imposed certain fines. Does the act make any room for victimization while the complaint is being lodged? Like, so after I lodge a complaint... Definitely so. Definitely so. One of, that's, one of, that's a very good um, point to raise here. Because one of the things of the act, whether it, does, it protects the, the, um, the person that is making a complaint from being victimized as a result of that, and that can carry severe consequences. What are some of the consequences? Am I allowed to ask? That? Well, you, well, well, you will be fine. You will be okay. fine. Okay. You, you can be fine. All right. Uh, are fine. there are there legal fees to be associated with all of this? Are you, well, you're on point. That's a very good question. Again, <laughs> there's no fees. That's what makes it such so user friendly. Okay. Unlike unlike other litigation, the um, Equal Opportunity Commission provides a direct access to justice without having to, to incur fees. It's up, certainly up to the point of conciliation. If you go on to the, the Equal Opportunity Tribunal, where you are dealing with, with, with more uh, procedural matters, you may want to probably at that point in time probably retain an attorney at law to assist you in dealing with that aspect of it. But okay. for all intents and purposes, and there's a discretion as well for the Equal Opportunity Tribunal in terms of awarding costs. Okay, so fantastic. whether costs will be awarded against you or not, as the case may be. Okay, well, Mr. Rich, we're out of time, unfortunately, but I know people can get oh, more please. information about it at the equalopportunity.gov.tt. Yeah? Yes, thank you. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Mr. Ian Roche, Chairman of the Equal Opportunity Commission. And with that, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we still have more inside this hour, believe it or not. Yes, right here at the Now Morning Show. Hey, nah, we go and jam again.